What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, your man's Toxic Gamma 331. Back out with another video, and today I am going to be going on a rant of what happened last night at WrestleMania 39 Day 2. 39 Part 1 was perfect, in my opinion. This one, yeah, I, I'm just... Well, I didn't watch... Okay, so before we get into the... I'm not reviewing the whole show. I'm just here to talk about the main event today, okay? Because I didn't watch the f first full night of WrestleMania. I know, I know. I was at Megacon and we had a long drive back home. So, so yeah, um, we got there kind of late. I could have watched it in a ca the car, but my video was uploading on there, so I didn't want to miss anything, but, yeah, um, so, all right, so going into this main event, the build-up was incredible. The promo segments were amazing between Roman and Cody and Paul, and the whole entire bloodline for that matter. And then you finally get to the match. The interest has happened, of course. And the bell rings. And this match, besides the ending, which we'll get to in a minute, in a little minute, was ama amazing. An amazing match. Like, there was moments in between where you thought Roman was going to lose. It did get Roman is great at kickouts. And making you think he's gonna actually lose. Because every single time, bro, every single time, I swear, he he pops that shoulder up before you think the ref's gonna count three. And by the way, can we point out for this match that it had the one referee that's always usually referees Roman's matches? You know what I mean? Because, like, since his the beginning of his style reign, the referee has managed, like... How many, how many matches has he done? The referee hasn't been in Roman's matches. One. Um, I gotta count. One. Two. Um, I'm trying to think. I still got something. Um. Three. Four. No, four. Yeah, four. And. Uh, you get me. He's. The referee to a lot of Roman's matches. That's all I'm saying. So maybe Roman likes that referee for some reason. But you get to the ending after... So... Uh, Roman, Cody... Uh, the ref's down. Cody accidentally boots the referee. And you go like, oh, here comes some shenanigans. The Usos come out and attempt to help Roman hit the 1D on Cody Rhodes... And then, after that happens, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn come out to attack Jimmy and Jay. Then, when they go, Cody goes for the cover, Roman kicks out. And then, uh, after that, Paul distracts the referee, and then uh, Ro Cody's going for three crossroads. Then, Solo pops out of nowhere after being sent to the back by the ref. And Simone spikes Cody Rhodes, and then he rebounds off the ropes, Roman Reigns, and hits him with the spear. I was totally expecting him to kick out at this point. So, one, two, three. Roman Reigns retains the WWE Undisputed Universal Championship. Um, alright, I'm here to talk about that today. So, alright, I've kind of thought about, gone into deep thought about this. I was, you know, I was, I was, um, very upset yesterday. I was the P word, um, <laughs> I was the P word last night. I, I, now I'm just kind of confused. Like, I, alright, so I get why they kind of did it. Okay, so why they did it was because they thought, thought, so Roman Reigns has nearly, um, well, his title reign has nearly lasted over 1,000 days. Well, at least 1,000 days. Which, WWE saw a big headline, so they had to basically book 
Roman to win. That's my guess as to why they decided to book Roman to win. And, yeah. And then, what other stuff? And also, I could understand from a standpoint, a whole lot of people, I was watching a whole lot of people's reviews and thoughts of what happened at the end of WrestleMania. Some people actually didn't mind Roman winning and thought Cody wasn't ready yet, which, to be honest, it makes sense for the story that Cody has to have a loss, then he can get a, a win again. So, and I'll get to that later with, um, with, uh, the, what could happen and who could dethrone Roman still. But, br like, what makes me mad is the, the finish. Well, but props off to the people that booked it because that was very ballsy. That was very ballsy and they knew it was. So, yeah, that, that was something and I... <sighs> uh, and then yeah Roman retains and then Cody's left distraught right in the middle of the ring and probably out of all Wrestlemania all the Wrestlemania matches I've seen this is the most shocking outcome of out of all of them out of the, all the Wrestlemanias I've watched this has the most shocking outcome because Cody I think Cody was definitely Definitely, you um, was the per. Definitely is the person to dethrone Roman, and I think he was originally booked to win this match, but something changed, and I'm guessing maybe Vince had to do with that. No, I'm just kidding. Probably not. Um, but yeah, that was very. That was very stupid. But what annoys me is the finish. Like that's the main thing that annoys me. And, and also, like, with Roman retaining, if Roman would have lost, per se, he would have already solidified himself as greatest universal champion of all time. Definitely. But, the way they decided to book the finish, having Roman cheat again, literally for the 5,000th time, like, it was like, come on, we've seen this before. And I'm telling you guys this right now. I was this close. I was thinking about not watching WWE for like a few months because of what happened. So, yeah, that was very, yeah. So, there are two ways that they can make this up and make it, um, make this not be a bad match or whatever. And, and also, I'm mad that they buried Cody, because Cody was the one out of... Cody and Sammy were the two that had the most momentum behind them trying to beat Roman. I, that's my personal opinion and stuff, which I think a whole lot of people would agree, but... Like, yeah, bro. I don't know why they did that. Okay, two ways this could possibly pay off. And I, I have some negatives why it couldn't pay off. So... There are two people in my eyes left that could dethrone Roman. It's still Cody, and then there's Jay. Which, uh, there's a YouTuber by the name of Murphs. He did a short about what happened if there was a new bloodline. And ever since, like, they've been teasing Jay kind of getting ready to leave the bloodline and all that, I thought it would sound perfect the way he, like, did his video and stuff showing how Jay could beat Roman by winning Money in the Bank and then beating him in a match at SummerSlam for the titles. That would be long-term storytelling because Jay was the first person that Roman faced in his first title defense. So that makes that would make be perfect storytelling at his finest right there. But it would be kind of shrugging off Cody's win Cody winning the Royal Rumble and such. Which, my second option would be Cody faces Roman Reigns at SummerSlam. Not Backlash, which I'm pretty sure that's maybe what they're going to do. But not Backlash. He should face Roman at SummerSlam if they're going to do another rematch where Cody ends up winning. 
But if Cody ends up facing him again at SummerSlam, it won't feel as impactful because WrestleMania is different than SummerSlam. SummerSlam is a great pay-per-view, don't get me wrong, but WrestleMania is the place to do it and make Cody win. And they decided to drop the ball, yeah. But, yeah, like... But if I were to book the outcome... I would be fine with either outcome, to be honest. And I would probably say the J one because that would be long term storytelling. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just, conf I'm not mad. I'm just confused as who's gonna beat him now. Literally, if it's none, of, not any of those two, which he already beat, who is left? There's literally the, like, who's literally left that could possibly beat him? Maybe Bobby Lashley. That might be the only one that I can think of. John Moxley, if he decides to join WWE. Seth Rollins. And Seth Rollins, because he never got pinned or submitted uh, in the Royal Rumble 2022 match. So, which I think he's the most likely out of the three I just listed that he could possibly beat Roman. But everybody else, there's no possible outcomes. There's no possible outcomes. Literally, the people that are left are Ricochet, which he probably would get squashed like he did Brock Lesnar at Crown Jewel 20. I think he would get a little bit more offense than what he got at Crown Jewel 2020. Who else? Sheamus, which I thought they were originally going to have a match like at a, a SmackDown or whatever for the titles. That didn't end up happening. Randy would not be able to dethrone Roman, but, I mean, actually, maybe. I'll give it a maybe, because they could book Roman. I mean, they could ma maybe book Randy to win. Because one last time as a world champion, you know, I think they could maybe do that. There's Randy, yeah, I, but I still don't see him beating him. Just Pat getting him, uh getting him over as a big heel as well. Sammy could still do it, but, like, I think if Sammy were to do it, we would have to wait until next year, which, if we wait until next year, man, the title change better pay off. Like, I'm already, I'm already, how do I say this? I'm already hoping the payoff for the title change happens at SummerSlam, but it, I don't know, it has a chance of happening at WrestleMania 40, so, but yeah, that is my thoughts on <laughs> Roman Reigns retaining, I did not expect that to go long for this video, that long for this video, but, man, like, yeah, gotta give props to them, they left me shocked i was just in my bed last night going wow and yeah and it was very very ballsy it's very ballsy but yeah that is my overall thoughts of roman reigns retaining the wwe universal championship at wrestlemania 39 last night um be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions of Roman retaining against Cody last night. If you're one of the people that that um wanted Cody Roman to win, you know we can start a nice conversation, not like argue or anything. I I'll just yeah, it, it's cool or whatever. It it I'm mixed on the thing. I think I I'm I I I would say seven seventy percent. I went I. Di am not how to happy with the outcome. Thirty percent, I'm kind of happy with the outcome because it makes sense for the Cody Rhodes story because you gotta go through obstacles. So, but yeah. But before we get into the actual ending of the video, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like because we're on the road to seventy subscribers. We're literally just two away now, and also it's absolutely free. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed this review of the main event last night don't forget to ring the bell for all notifications so you don't miss notification when i upload also do share the video because it will help out a lot 
And also feel free, like I said, to share your comments on the WrestleMania 39 main event decision. But with that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next one, everybody. Pa -pa -pa -pa. Peace.